been described as one of the biggest art gifts ever made to the nation, comparable to the bequests left by Henry Tate and Samuel Courtauld. The art dealer and collector Anthony Doffe has given over 700 works of modern contemporary art to the Tate and National Galleries of Scotland, and he's done so at cost price. Both the British and Scottish governments contributed £10 million each to the acquisition, as our arts correspondent Nicholas Glass now reports. Anthony Doffe sipping his preferred brew, Japanese tea, and beaming more than we can ever remember, more certainly than his usual deadpan smile. This was an extraordinary press conference in Edinburgh. Doffe was effectively giving away one of the great post-war art collections to the nation. 725 works of art in all, a Damien Hirst spot painting, an Andy Warhol portrait of Joseph Boyce, a Gerhard Richter painting, as a job lot on the art market, these would be worth over £125 million. Doffe has agreed to accept about a fifth of that, £26.5 million, what it cost him to buy the art. It was said at the press conference by Nick Sirota that you'd given away a large proportion of your wealth by making this gift. Is that true? Certainly, yes, of course. And do you think long and hard before doing so, doing it in this way? Listen, we weren't thinking about the financial side at all. We weren't thinking about the business side at all. We were thinking about young people in education. We were thinking about reaching out to young people. We were thinking about how you can put together great works of art which can move and change people. Anthony Doffe is an intriguing, enigmatic figure in the art world. He was variously described to me as being strange, unapproachable, obsessive, controlling, messianic and brilliant. His London gallery, until it closed in 2001, was as influential as any in Europe. Turnover is said to have been over £20 million a year. Doffe showed many artists. Here, Ron Muick's intensely lifelike sculptures. And of course, he famously showed Andy Warhol. I think it's an image of our time. I think that it's... Uh, um it, it, it's a paradoxical image, isn't it? Uh, it's all sorts of opposites combined in one image, but th that is Warhol, after all. Doffe's collection has been acquired jointly by the National Galleries of Scotland and the Tate Gallery in London. The idea is to have so-called artists' rooms, 50 of them in galleries around the country. The plan, for example, is three rooms for Robert Maplethorpe's photographs. For seven years, we worked night and day on this project. Night and day? Literally night and day, yes. Literally. I mean, it, it's been a colossal undertaking to do this. I'm sure you can imagine that. Anthony Doffy wants others to follow his lead. It's taken a couple of years to negotiate his deal. A lawyer was needed to arbitrate. But the national collections have acquired art that will transform their post-war holdings.